pouring of concrete items such as curbs, driveways, valley gutters, and other miscellaneous concrete fixtures takes place in multiple phases. The first phase is with the concrete curb machine which is able to efficiently place large footages of curb throughout the entire project area. Once the concrete curbs are placed, they need to cure and harden for up to one week before vehicles can drive over them. It is during this phase that property owners will have the longest stretch of time where they will not have access to their property. Door hanger notices will be delivered to all the impacted properties at least a day before the concrete pouring takes place. Property owners are permitted to park their vehicles on the street overnight and the project team will communicate this with the Crystal Police Department so they are aware the vehicles will be parked on the streets overnight. From time to time, the street can seem very narrow after the new curbs have been placed. Because the road is not yet filled with gravel and paved with pavement, it is in fact roughly three feet narrower than it will be once the road is paved. This is because the flat part of the gutter, known as the gutter pan, where vehicles can normally park is not accessible. Valley gutters are used to provide a drainage path for stormwater in areas that are extremely flat. While this work is taking place, either half or the entire road width will be taken up. It is very likely that this section of road with the valley gutter being installed will be completely closed to traffic until the valley gutter has had time to cure and harden. Some sections around storm sewer catch basins and other features need to have curb poured by hand. This work takes place after the majority of the curb work in the project area has been poured. There may be roads blocked temporarily while concrete trucks and crews are doing the spot concrete work. After the new curb work has had time to harden, properties that have existing concrete driveways will have the remainder of their driveway poured with concrete. Similar to the curbs, once the concrete has been poured, it takes up to a week to cure and harden. Property owners will continue to not have access to their driveway for up to a week. Similar to the concrete, properties that have existing asphalt driveways will have the remainder of their driveway to the curb paved with asphalt. However, due to the asphalt cooling and hardening faster than concrete, property owners may use their driveways within a few hours of the new asphalt being paved. While the asphalt pavement can be driven on, care should be taken not to scuff or otherwise tarnish the surface of the asphalt. Vehicles should not be parked in the same spot on the driveway for extended periods of time, multiple days for example. If this does occur, then depressions may develop in the tire locations of the parked vehicle. To minimize scuff marks on the new asphalt, always have the vehicle in motion when turning the wheels. When the vehicle is stopped, do not turn the steering wheel. Instead, turn the wheel while the vehicle is slowly in motion, whether in forward and reverse. Once the concrete is poured, the project will look very close to being done. However, it will still be at least a few weeks before the project is wrapped up. To provide properties with access to their driveways, temporary gravel ramps will be constructed at the end of each driveway curb cut so vehicles can get into and out of their driveways. These ramps will be removed when the base layer of asphalt is paved on the road.